in my world, of course, it don't matter. You know, you could be uh, a gangster with a good dress, <laughs> or you could be a gangster with baggy pants. It don't. I feel like it's no such thing as gender. You look hot in a dress. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Somebody had a dress. What the fuck? Let's go check it out. Too. Check it out now. What the fuck, Shreggy? Now let me let y'all know this, man. Um. The shock value of Young Thug wearing dresses calling his brothers, uh, Bay, you know what I mean, Boo, Baby, it's kind of wearing off, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. To be honest, when he calls a nigga Babe, I don't even really blink. I'm like, his thugger, okay? That's what thugger do. Now, a lot of people have just bought into the uh, possibility of him being homosexual. Apparently, he has a girlfriend, and apparently, he's not. So, apparently, he did all this just for attention. So, basically, once you know the gig is kind of up, people are like, whatever. Now... My issue was never that he was doing it for attention, okay? My issue was the impressionable minds that were listening to him, okay? For example, he just came out of this Calvin Klein ad. He said, yo, gangsters could rock dresses. And that's absolutely true. A gangster could rock a dress, could rock anything, okay? Doesn't mean you're, you're a gangster or you're not a gangster if you're rocking a dress. My problem comes with putting across this imagery that he's really not living up to, okay? He's with a girl, you feel me? He's not really doing this outside of the realm of just getting attention. He's not conveniently just rocking a fucking dress on the way to the mall. He only rocks a dress when he's putting out an image that's going to influence his young fans. That's fucked up. In reality, it's just like these other rappers. I'm not saying it's any better, but it's like them saying, yo, go kill all these people, and you know that, bro, that's not even your life anymore. Like, you haven't busted a gun in years. Like, why would you tell your fans that this is cool and this is what to do when you know you wouldn't do this your goddamn self? Now, again, he's getting paid for it, and, of course, some people are going to excuse it. Yo, so who cares? He's getting money. And, of course, for some people, as long as money is involved, anything goes, all right? Now, it's very problematic for me. I mean, again, we see some more imagery. He's getting his toenails painted. We see some other imagery. He's putting out a lot of flexible shit, okay? I think at this point it's just for attention, guys. But we do need clarification because in reality, subliminally, right, it is influencing the minds of young, impressionable people who rock with him who really don't have fathers in the first place. Y'all know how the black community is kind of set up. Right? So when they see it, it's like, yo, thugger wearing a dress and thugger a thug. They might be like, yo, even if that's not even traditional or within their nature to do so, now they start doing it. Now, some people might be like, what's the problem if dudes start wearing dresses? Now, again, I see a problem with that because it feels like it's an aim at especially some of even these big companies that are not partnered with thugger to have him say these things in their ads. It's an ad. It's kind of putting out the imagery to say, yo... Actually, man, let's let's kind of emasculate some of you black men because right now, like, black men are seen as hyper um, aggressive, and of course, like, uh, mainstream media and mainstream society just doesn't like that. So when I see this, I see it kind of affecting the urban community in a very subliminal way. It's not affecting nobody who's grown. It's not affecting nobody who's actually uh, grown up already, or you could think for yourself. But for all the impressionable minds. Sometimes you need an explanation for the fuckery you're hearing and the fuckery you're seeing. And unfortunately, because hip-hop holds themselves to no responsibility of explaining what you saw, explaining what you heard, explaining why it was said and why it was seen, and actually making sense of it. A lot of times people just chalk it up, yo, it's entertainment, it's your parents' job to explain all this shit. A lot of people don't got parents, that's why you need people who can provide social commentary like myself. You can explain to people what's going on. Young Thug ain't rocking a dress on a regular. He's rocking a dress just to get the attention. And because of the attention, some of y'all are going to actually misconstrue it like that's cool. You're going to have men rocking dresses just to actually fit in or try to be like Thug. He's affecting y'all, but he's just cashing out. Which in reality is way more problematic, right? Than if he was, say, quote unquote, gay in hip hop. We know that's a taboo, right? But if he was actually gay, I've been said it ain't no problem if he's just actually gay. But in reality, he's playing with you guys' minds. And he's actually pushing an agenda that the mainstream media has been trying to push for decades. And he's the one to do it because he's going to tell you, yeah, 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 you a savage? You got to wear a dress. Are you savages wearing dresses? You guys let me know, man. I saw him getting his toenails painted. He got a new tape coming out. It's called Jeffrey. I listen, man, I, I, I'll check it out and everything. But I'm not going to lie, man. I don't like when he pushes these imagery. At least at this point, it's great. You don't even need to. He don't even need to. He got an established fan base already. When he does this, I look at him like, yo, why? Why? But again, it's not for me. Because I ain't going to be wearing no flexible dresses or no shit like that. But 
it's for somebody who's 14 and 15 who they can't even, they don't even know the difference. Like, yo, maybe I shouldn't be rocking a dress. They're like, yo, Thugger wears it. I got to wear it. That's what I got to explain for them. Get a comment box if you guys like. Definitely subscribe to Woodjack Academics. Bye-bye.